Now that we have our boxing and our defensive positions prepared, now we'll travel on to our lower body, our kneeing and kicking position of the CD. Hands, in, hands up in position. From here, I'm going to lead with the knee, as every kick that you will learn in a striking art is only an extension of your knee. From here, here I'm going to take my upper body and travel on a slight circle off to my right. So my circle will come off to my opposite hip, the knee, the hip side that I am kneeing with. As that travels through, I'm going to kick off of the floor, bringing that knee up and pushing in towards the target. Now you'll notice two things. Number one, I, I am isolating the abs by bringing my lead shoulder across. And at the same time, I am isolating the muscles in the top of my leg by pointing my toes to the floor. My ready position is here, hands up. My knee will come up and travel, whoosh, and back to my position. Knee up, whoosh, and into position. Knee up, whoosh, and into position. If I take a slight angle for you, you'll notice that my hand positioning comes down quickly, and my knee, you'll see the extension as the toes come down, whoosh, and pushes, whoosh, into the target. With my opponent, this technique will be used after I slip that jab, if I trap at the back of the neck, and I bring that knee up, and at the same time bring, bring his head towards my hip, driving that knee up and through to either the solar plexus or lower ribs of my opponent. If I would like to take an advanced position, I could go to a jumping position and take the knee to the, either the lower part of the chin or the front of the face. Driving the knee up, notice the position of my toes, bringing it across. Once again, the knee position is here, driving the knee up, and, re and returning back to stance. Knee up, and back to stance. Very good with the knee.